Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to review some new set of extensions that I have here from Lexi Hair. The hair extensions that I chose, you guys can see by the title, I have the 16 inch classic off black balayage clip-in extensions. And these here retail for $199. You do have the option to make installment payments and you can break it down so that it's not so bad on your pocket. So I am an affiliate with Lexi Hair. I have reviewed several of the extensions. And I just want to share with you guys the different styles of hair extensions that they do have. I have done reviews on the, their 20 inch extensions. The first set of extensions I purchased with my own money and then I became an affiliate with them. So I'm able to share with you guys different hair colors. I often dye my hair so I'm able to do that. So the reason I decided to choose the 16 inch hair extensions is because I have very short hair. I'm going to go ahead and put my hair down for you guys so you guys can see. It's actually growing quite a bit, but um, it's still quite short. And the extensions that I have are the Classic Off Balayage. I previously dyed my hair a very dark brown. It almost looked black. And now it's faded into this. The ends are a lot lighter. And I looked at the website, and I think that the Classic Off Balayage Clip-In Hair Extensions are going to be similar to this. If not, not a big deal. These are human hair extensions, so you're able to dye them to match your shade. If you're unsure of the shade that you are, I suggest that you go lighter over darker, because if you do go lighter, you're able to dye those into whatever color you are. If you guys are interested in this shade that I picked out in today's video, the classic off, I'm looking at the screen, sorry. The classic off black balayage clip-in extensions. These are, again, the 16-inch. They're more of a natural length opposed to the 20, I think that they just came out with the 24-inch hair extensions. And since there's such a big difference with my short hair opposed to a 24-inch hair extensions, you're going to be able to see that they're not my natural hair. So that's why I wanted to pick the 16-inch, which I think are going to be more of a natural look for my length. So if you guys would like to see a review on these hair extensions, then just keep watching. No, I'd rather be waking up with you Set up alone in your room Slept with the light on Waiting up for you Don't I don't wanna be Okay, so the extensions come in a little package just like this. You open it up. Of course, I've already taken mine out. I know this will probably sound very repetitive if you have watched previous of my hair extension reviews, but if it's your first time watching me, I want to be very detailed as to what you guys will be receiving in your boxes. So when you open up the box, it's going to look like this. Of course, the extensions are going to be underneath this plastic area. This top part right here is going to have a sample, which is going to be one of the single clip wefts that are going to be in your set of hair extensions. So once you take out this right here, you're going to go ahead and place it right next to your hair and if it's a match and if you're pretty satisfied with the color that you're receiving then you can go ahead and proceed with removing there's going to be a sticker right here you're, you're going to remove the sticker and proceed with taking out your extensions but if you do remove the sticker and you don't like them you're not able to return them so make sure that you are satisfied with the sample piece that is placed at the very top Again, you are able to choose this exact color, the classic off balayage, in different lengths. They have the 20 inch and the 24 inch extensions. Your 16 inch extensions comes with four of these single clip wefts. It looks like this here. I'm just kind of showing you guys the color. It looks pretty dark and the edges start to fade out to like a light brown, just like my hair is right now. So there's four of them, like I said. And then you move on to your two clip wefts and they look like this here. The difference between the seamless and the classic extensions, you guys will see the difference on the website because there's 16 inch seamless clip-in extensions and then there's a 16 inch classic extensions. The difference between both of those is that the classic tend to be a lot, um, there's more hair towards the crown or like the like closer to your scalp because it's going to add volume to your hair and it's also just thicker that's more let me see how many it's 140 grams of hair so um yeah that's the difference the seamless is more like this part right here is a lot thinner so that it kind of like sticks on better to your your head seamlessly 
just like the name seamless they're more seamless I guess you can say <laughs> but not to worry I've tried the I've used a lot of the classic ones and if you just know how to apply them properly then you're not gonna have an issue with them showing or anything like that but yeah that's that's a difference there so again this is two of the two clip extensions and then we're gonna move on to the three clip extensions which looks like this here you also get some extra clips inside of your little your little box so these are the two right here and let me just show you guys the color you guys can see it better on this here you guys can see how it just like fades out really pretty And then we have one single weft that is a four clip weft like this. So for me personally, 140 grams of hair is not a lot of hair for how thick and blunt my haircut is. My haircut is pretty straight and I, I just wanted to have a straight haircut so that I, it looks like I have fuller hair than I actually do because I have very thin hair. And yeah, I just really wanted a blunt cut. So with blunt cuts it's very difficult to blend your extensions so what i found that works best with my hair type is i have to part this top part of my head head of my hair and then let me find a clip and then i have to just clip this all away this is going to be the hair that's actually going to be showing i think i should take a little bit more so i'm going to just go ahead and part the hair section it out and this is the top part that's going to be showing the rest i'm going to go ahead and put it away i'm going to split the hair in half and i'm going to just go ahead and braid my hair away so once i have done that i'm going to go ahead and just tie it at the end and I'm going to repeat the same exact step over to this side. I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and braid this away. Once you have both of your braids, you're going to go ahead and cross them in the back like so. And you're going to go ahead and just pin your hair. I'm going to be taking my three clip weft like this here and I'm going to be applying it to the very bottom. Let me turn around. I'm going to apply it to this bottom part. Just like that. I'm going to take my next three clip weft. So for the next three clip weft, I'm going to put it on top of the braids. Just like this here. And then I'm going to be taking my four clip weft and I'm going to be placing it right on top where this line is right here. So I'm just going in there. And then my two clip weft is this one here. I'm going to go ahead and apply this right on where those braids start right here. Right there, and then this other clip, I'm going to kind of tuck this underneath the braid where you guys can see over here. So it's kind of going to be angled like that, so the hair kind of comes forward. I'm going to repeat the same step right over here. Except this part right here, you guys can see that I have all this space. I'm going to put this clip. You can just go ahead and place these however you want, like there's no rules to it. But this is just how I do it and how it works best with my hair. So now I'm going to go ahead and move into my single clips. And I'm going to place this one right underneath the braid like this. Just to add that fullness right in here. I'm going to repeat the same thing over to this side. And now I'm going to let my hair down. Just like this and I still have two single clip wefts I'm gonna apply this one wherever I think I'm gonna need it so this side is looking pretty good I think I'm gonna be applying it right in here because if I apply it right here it's gonna be too obvious because my hair is really thin so I have to kind of apply it where I have more hair and that's gonna be right here so I'm gonna take this oh shit I'm going to take this part right here and and then just apply this extension at an angle once again so it kind of frames the face a little bit more. 
And with this one, I feel like I need a little bit more hair coming down this way right here. So I'm going to part the hair in an angled way and then just hold the hair forward and just apply this clip right in here. And then here are the 16 inch clip-in hair extensions. My hair is still a lot lighter, so um, I do have to kind of curl them because like the ends, I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think they match pretty good? Like the ends, the ends of the extensions are still a lot darker than my actual hair. Like you guys can see the difference, but I mean, it's not too bad. It's not that obvious in my opinion. Um, but I do prefer to kind of curl it so everything just blends out better. So you can definitely do that. I'm not going to do that right now. I just kind of wanted to share with you guys these hair extensions. Yeah, so just showing you guys different options that you guys have shopping with Lexi. If you guys are interested in buying your own set of hair extensions, you guys can use my affiliate code LXTracy. I'll go ahead and link that down below and it does save you some money and it also earns me commission and I really appreciate your guys' support. Um, I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions for me, actually, I have seen some questions in some of my previous videos about maintenance with my hair extensions. With my hair extensions, I don't use them very often. And if you do decide to wash them, like that's totally fine. You can treat them like you treat your own hair. You can wash them with shampoo and conditioner. I personally don't like to wash them very often because I don't put product in them. Since this is not like hair that's growing on my head, I feel like it does hold the curl pretty well. And I don't find the need to apply any type of... I just don't need to apply any hairspray or anything like that. The, the only thing that I do apply to these is oil just to give it that shine and like movement. One thing I will let you know is that if you do wash them, you're going to start to lose hair from the extensions and they're not going to be looking as full. So I, I don't recommend that you wash them too frequently. I would at least, if you do use them very often, I would do like once a month. I should have mentioned other scenarios of when to wash your extensions. So if you're working outdoors all the time and you're constantly sweating, if they develop a like funky smell, then definitely wash your extensions. You can also possibly be going out to drink with your friends, you spill drinks on your hair or your hair just gets dirty, then obviously wash your, your extensions when they do have a smell or you spill something on them. But if your hair extensions do not smell or if you're not putting any hair product in them, then don't wash them because you will lose more and more hair if you do continue to wash them more frequently. And that's because I don't wear them on a day-to-day -day basis. I only wear them when I do go out or I just really want to look cute, which doesn't happen very often as a mom. As a mom, you're just like on the go all the time and yeah. <laughs> Just to give you guys an idea of the length of the extensions, I'm 4 foot 11 and they come right beneath my boobs. And this is all of my hair coming forward. This is all of my hair to the back and it does come down um, at least to, well actually since I'm so short, it comes down to like my waist area. So they're pretty long. Again, I'm 4 foot 11, I'm not very tall. I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you guys have any questions for me, feel free to comment your questions down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. I have reviewed several different hair extensions. I'll go ahead and add a playlist of different hair colors that you guys can choose from Lexi Hair. And I'll also link this exact color of hair extensions down below in my description box along with the name and a little bit more information about these hair extensions. If you guys are interested in purchasing them, then go ahead and check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!